Hey guys, welcome to the autumnal equinox. Today we are at the halfway point in this astrological lunar new year. The sun is entering Libra. We are in the full moon phase of the year. We are in the full moon phase of the month. And energetics today, you guys, are really all about full exposure. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today is Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021. My name is Aubrey, and this is your astrological outlook for the day. So equinox energetics today, you guys, like I said, we are at the halfway point in this new astrological year that began this year on April 11th, 2021, when we had our new moon in Aries. Now to get the report started today, I kind of want to pull back a little bit and look at the big picture of things and sort of where we're at right now, considering we are at the halfway point at, like I said, the full moon phase of the year when we are really seeing sort of like the climax, the full exposure of what has been growing up until this point that began at the new moon in Aries this year. And if we look back, if we think back to what was going on on April 11th of this past year and the aspects that were in effect, one of the major themes of that chart for this new astrological year was Venus in a conjunction to the Aries point, which is the one degree in the zodiac that is truly about breaking the chains, liberating for the sake of liberation so that we can truly come back into authentic truth and integrity and alignment with that. And Venus was also in an exact square to Pluto. And so because of these themes that were going on with the new moon in Aries this year, it really told me that this entire year was very much so going to be about breaking out of any type of like prison or any type of circumstances that have enslaved us and especially in terms of our own internal value our own self-worth our own self-love where have we been giving this away and allowing ourselves to be dominated and overpowered by others because we just haven't felt that we were truly enough to be in power on our own and to be powerful in and of ourselves on the inside this whole year is really to me the way that I'm perceiving it, a process of rectifying that. And it's being, you know, demonstrated as well by just the way that the transits are unfolding this year, the way that the energy is unfolding. Right now, we have Venus and Mars are actually on this pursuit where they are not technically journeying together, although they're both going in the same direction with the same intentions, and they will be coming together in March of 2022 into an exact conjunction with Pluto. And this is going to be a really significant period of time because when this transit happens, it's really going to be a reintegration of the masculine and the feminine archetypes within all of us that put us back into a place of recognizing that internal value, recognizing that self-worth, and having the strength and the courage to truly step into our power and completely free ourselves from any of these dominating, controlling forces that have really been kept keeping us from being able to come into our full power, our true potential, and our authentic you know, our true authenticity that is aligned with the deepest desires of our heart. And this is significant because right now for the halfway point in the year for the equinox, we have Venus and Mars in a mutual reception, which means that they are both in each other's signs. So even though they are not technically together right now, they're still working together. Their energies are blended, their energies are fused, and they're still very much on the same track, on the same course to come back together. And Alongside of just these Venus and Mars themes today, we also have Mercury, who is about to station to go direct, moving very slow in the sky. Mercury is going to be coming into, well, is in an exact square to Pluto today. So the real energetic themes that we have going on for this equinox today are Mercury, Pluto, Venus, and Mars. And these themes, what is going on with these aspects today, are supporting both what was present at the new moon in Aries, 
as well as the trajectory that we're going on. Venus and Mars are going to come into this conjunction with Pluto in March. Pluto is in an exact square to Mercury today, who is the ruler of this Virgo cycle, while we enter the autumn equinox, the full moon phase of the year, and we are in the full moon phase of the month as well, with the full moon in Pisces having just happened. So there is something about the energy today that is really going to be exposing things in a very big way that is directly related to this reintegration of the masculine and the feminine principles and archetypes within us. And this journey that we're all on collectively that is taking us through March of next year, which will be, you know, the new moon in Aries usually happens around the end of March or the beginning of April. So this energy is really going to be present closing out the current lunar astrological year cycle that we're in. Remember the lunar astrological year begins with the new moon in Aries. It doesn't begin January 1st, you know, like the Gregorian calendar new year. It really begins when the sun and the moon come together at the come together in Aries, the first sign of the zodiac. And this is very usually correspondent to the spring equinox and the beginning of spring in terms of like the natural new year. So for our midway point today, we actually have themes going on that are extremely emblematic and representative of where we started this year, ultimately where we're going. And the same planets that are a part of this integral transformative process that we're heading into as we wrap up the rest of this year and move into next year, those same energetics are present today and they're doing a lot to help us move forward in this process. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I'm really trying to sort of look at the bigger picture, but find the right words to bring it down to where we're at now in consideration of where we're coming from and where we're going. So I like the energetics today and they line right up with the fact that we are in the full moon phase of the year, the full moon phase of the month, full exposure. We're going to be finding a lot of things out that really help us in this process of reintegration, transformation, metamorphosis, and ultimately coming back into our own power so that we can realign with our authenticity, with what's truly and deeply in our heart and soul and begin to move forward and create from that place going forward and attract relationships and circumstances into our lives that are supportive of this and that um, help like help it develop as we go forward into the age of Aquarius. So now let's come back to today and I want to talk about the specific aspects that are in effect today. But really, we have to remember just ultimately that what we discover now is directly related to our journey back to wholeness, reintegration, and true self-empowerment. Things that we are finding out now are directly related to this process that we are undergoing as the energy carries us through into March of next year. So number one, aspects that we have in effect today, we do, of course, have the sun moving to one degree of Libra today. That is what makes it the equinox. And so that is a definite energetic shift. We are moving out of Virgo season, even though we are technically still in the Virgo cycle until the new moon in Libra that will be coming up in the next week and a half or so. And um, so there's just going to be a much greater emphasis on relationships, partnerships, comfort, fun, socializing, connecting, and just more enjoying the pleasures in life right now as we have the sun, Mars, and Mercury all currently in the sign of Libra, Venus's sign. So there's definitely an emphasis on Venus today as you know, we have all this energy going on in Libra. There is also a big emphasis on Mars today, who remember is in Libra's sign, or in Venus's sign, ultimately supporting Venus. But we have another Aries moon today. The moon in Aries ruled by Mars is actually going to be forming a conjunction with the Aries point today. So that is telling us that internally, we are at that point every month where we are just feeling like we want to liberate our ourselves. We want to stand up for ourselves. We want to like buck 
off, anything that's holding us back, emotional breakthroughs coming with this today to break us free from mental constraints, keeping us out of our power along these same themes of Mercury and Pluto, because like I said, we also have an exact Mercury-Pluto square going on today. Mercury's in Libra, Pluto is in Capricorn, but we also, remember, have that moon in Aries. And the moon in Aries at the Aries point will be moving to oppose Mercury, who's also in a square to Pluto today. So that is actually setting us up with a T-square from Mercury in Libra to Pluto in Capricorn to the moon in Aries. So... At, when you add the fact that the Aries point is also right there, the Aries point is 21 degrees of Aries. The Sabian symbol of this degree is a boxer entering the ring. And the Aries point, whenever it's activated, again, it is that point in the sky that is rebellion, liberation, throwing off the chains, all for the ultimate purpose of returning to truth and authenticity and integrity. And um, so there's definitely, you know, with the moon discharging this energetic anyways in the sign of Aries ruled by Mars, who's also in a conjunction to the sun that will be moving closer and closer over the next couple days. This is definitely going to have us really feeling emotionally fired up about some things, really feeling feisty, combative, aggressive potentially. And then because of the fact that that placement of the moon also makes it form the T-square between Mercury in Libra and Pluto in Capricorn, this is definitely emotionally energizing. What deep, secrets revealed and revelations and the things that we're seeing behind the curtain and beyond the veil and that have been operating under the surface of things, deep hidden truths that are really surfacing and breaking through with this Mercury square Pluto today are being, like I said, emphasized and energized in a very big way by the fact that we also have the moon at the Aries point opposing that Mercury and squaring that Pluto. This is a really powerful aspect. And remember, there's still a trine going on to Jupiter from Mercury as well, because in that aspect has been exact for the past couple of days. So this is also in a very expansive way. And people are really being called to speak their truth to power under these energetics. Um, so like ultimately, this is, like I said, emotional breakthroughs, breaking free from mental constraints that have been keeping us out of our power. Mercury in square to Pluto, this is deep, profound, and penetrating insight into things. This is um, finding things out that have been hidden, and it has a level of tension or conflict that comes with it. Like we have to like like these things aren't just happening naturally, like something is happening to cause us to gain this information and it may bring up some type of conflict or tension. But again, with the moon right there, um, this whatever comes from this might really have people feeling a lot of emotional angst, a lot of emotional fire, a lot of passion and drive and motivation and willpower to stand up for themselves and to break themselves out of situations where they feel like they may have been dominated. And this Mercury in square, it's like with this, we are finding out the things that we need to know in order to stand in our power and to break free from these things that have been holding us back with the moon conjunct the Aries point. Very much so. So, okay, like I said, we have the moon supporting Mars and we have the sun, Mars, and Venus, or I mean the sun, Mars, and Mercury all supporting Venus today. And now we have, I want, this brings us to the next thing that we have going on today. And that is Venus, who has all of this support right now because of all of the energy that's going on in her sign, coming into a one degree off opposition with Uranus in Taurus, who is also in her sign. Over today, over tomorrow, you guys, this exact activation will happen tomorrow. I am anticipating some types of big shocks, surprises, upsets, upheavals, huge dynamic change happening in relationships, partnerships, finances, resources, supply chains. Um, the things that give us comfort and security, we can 
you know, with this, we really can expect some upheavals that are going on, but you know why it's happening? It's happening because we are finding out all of these deep hidden truths and it's expanding our mind in such a huge way. And it's causing us to rebel and to want to break free from something. And that process I do believe is what is contributing to these upsets that we are experiencing because universe is really trying to put things right right now and is really trying to put things back into an authentic alignment. And as we are individually and collectively going through these metamorphoses and going through these transformations to come back to that place of authentic alignment, there's a ripple effects that are happening. And in this case, it seems like with the Venus in opposition to Uranus for the equinox, for this halfway point of the year, we are at the point where I think we're really going to be starting to experience some of these major financial, economic, relationship, partnership upheavals that need to happen so that we can truly start to realign with the changes that are happening internally. So we have that going on as well. And yeah, um, relationship and financial upsets to realign us with authenticity and integrity. Remember, universe, Uranus rules Aquarius. We are moving into the age of Aquarius. What happens with Uranus right now, the aspects that happen with Uranus are really all for the purpose of helping us collectively all to transition into the new incoming Aquarian vibrations, Aquarian archetypes and the new paradigm, the age of Aquarius that we are metamorphosizing and transforming into at this point in time in correspondence with the cosmic blueprint that is unfolding. So this may be a week where we see a lot of dynamic change, tumultuous situations going on. Again, this will be in regards to those Taurus themes and also it could be in regards to the Libra themes as well both of Venus's signs, and this is finances, partnerships, relationships, what gives us comfort, what gives us pleasure, what makes us feel safe and secure and stable, resources, supply chains, all of these type of things are indicated for some type of disruption this week as universe is realigning things in a way to help us move forward into this Aquarian age paradigm. And it's just we have to be shooken up in order for it to happen. Things have to change. The status quo cannot remain and things might get a little more difficult before they start to open up again and we start to be able to move forward. But it's just a part of the realignment process and we have to keep that in mind. Another thing that I want to bring up before I move on is the Sabian symbols today of the degree placements of Venus, Mars, Mercury, and Pluto, because those are all the main planets, the main themes, the main energetics that are, you know, very relevant and in effect today. So I want to just talk about those for a minute because they're telling us some things as well. For those of you who are new to my channel or who are not familiar with the Sabian symbols, what they are is a group of energetics that describes each and every one of the 360 degrees of the zodiac. And whenever a planet is at a specific point, Point, making an aspect, discharging a specific degree. We can look to the symbol and it gives us more information about the underlying purpose for why this activation, this aspect is actually happening in the context of this grand unfolding blueprint, this grand unfolding cosmic saga that carries us through time and space. So I always like to look at the Sabian symbols because they just bring us more information in terms of understanding why these aspects are happening, why they're occurring. And so today for these, this very Venus, Mars, Mercury, Pluto themed day, we have Mercury at 25 degrees of Libra, again, in an exact square to Pluto at 25 Capricorn. And this degree is the sight of an autumn leaf brings to a pilgrim the sudden revelation of the mystery of life and death. So this is all about transformation, metamorphosis, and really starting to like cognitively think about this process of change and of, you know, death and rebirth. It's very like a phoenix vibe to it, which is exactly what we're all going through right now. And for Mercury to be at this degree in a square to Pluto, who is the lord of the underworld, it's like... Whatever we're learning is really giving us um, food for thought in terms of, you know, this rebirth process that we're going through right now and what is truly important to us as we go through this process, as we are all in this Phoenix process. What are we discovering? What profound truths are we discovering 
that hold relevance and significance to us in allowing us to go through this process of metamorphosis and morphosis and transformation and releasing any fears that we may have associated with it. Pluto is at the degree of 25 um, Capricorn, and that is a store filled with precious and ornamental precious oriental rugs. So this degree is all about getting reacquainted with what we truly hold inside and the value and the precious nature of what we all hold deep within us, deep inside of our metaphysical store. So these two degrees put together, it's like we are beginning to see the need to go through these profound changes, these profound metamorphoses for the purpose of regaining the understanding of the value and the precious nature of the quality of what we hold inside of us. And we are releasing any fears associated with this death and rebirth process as our minds are transforming and changing under these energetics because we're fine, we're discovering some things that have a very transformative and profoundly regenerative effect on us. Next, we have Venus today at 14 degrees of Scorpio. Telephone, telephone linesmen at work installing new connections. So again, you know, new connections. We are moving away from our past loyalties, what we've always known, our past conceptions of reality and the just like our like I said, our perceptions, our beliefs, our understandings, the way that we've seen things, the relationships, the circumstances that we've always been in that have been comfortable to us. We are going through this process of transformation right now and we're realizing that we need to let a lot of things go and therefore we need to establish these new connections. And there's telephone linesmen at work today working on establishing these new connections so that we can live a life in alignment with our authentic truth and our authentic value. And with Venus and Scorpio, it's what we truly deeply love and desire on like the deepest, most intimate levels being reworked reconnected so that we can bring in new relationships that are truly in alignment with the person that we're transforming the rebirth process who we're becoming now because the old relationships don't fit anymore with the new versions of ourselves that we're in the process of birthing and finally we have mars at six degrees of libra today a man watches his ideals taking a concrete form before his inner vision so this degree is all about manifestation. This is all about envisioning in our mind's eye what we truly want and desire, having faith in that, stepping away, and allowing it to come into concrete form in our physical reality through the power of our imagination to imprint on the reality and in correspondence with God and the divine path and our faith that that is what will come into being. As we move into the age of Aquarius, we're unaware right now, actually, of the strength and the power of our mental faculties to actually play a very significant role in creating our reality. Always, although we've been very detached from it for a long period of time, but as we go through this reintegration process of the divine men and feminine, the divine masculine, coming back into our power, this journey that we're on through March of next year, there's a definite dynamic of that that has a lot to do with us rediscovering the ability of our imagination in alignment with our will, in alignment with our faith and the divine plan to truly play a very co-creating role in the circumstances, the relationships and our experience of reality as we come back into our power. And Mars is really speaking about this today. So I felt like all of these four degrees are very supportive of both the path that we've traveled since the new moon in Aries up until this point, and also the trajectory that we have left to travel as we are heading into March of next year, when we will come to this point in time where this reintegration process will happen and we will come back into our power. And this will really be a tremendously transformative time as well, where we really start moving into a totally new direction based on an entirely renewed sense of internal empowerment, internal integration, internal wholeness and faith and belief and confidence in ourselves and a new understanding of the way that we interact with and correspond like that we interact with and um, just like sort of flow with God and the divine and the universe, okay? So those Sabians, I felt like were very relevant today too in considering 
everything else and where we're at and being at the halfway point and they're really sort of just highlighting the same themes and talking about this so you know the big aspect of the day you guys is this mercury in square to pluto today this is uncovering things it is penetrating insight it is secrets revealed it is speaking truth to power and it's having these ripple effects that are speak like being brought to us through Venus in opposition with Uranus while she's got everything going on in her sign right now. And we may really be headed into experiencing just some really big shifts, changes, shocks, and surprises about things as a result of this insight, this penetrating insight that we're gaining and the desire to really, like I said, speak truth to power under these energetics. We are coming back into our power because we are learning things that have been hidden from us that are allowing us to go through this process of transformation and metamorphosis that ultimately may result in some of these big upheavals and changes that are needed to realign things so that they can fall back into alignment in a more supportive way to help us truly cultivate that potential so that we can do the age of Aquarius thing, come into our self empowerment, come into our self mastery and our self understanding, cultivate a sense of wisdom based on experience that we can then use to develop and cultivate and, you know, harvest our true potential and serve it to humanity, to the greater whole, to the greater good. Ultimately, the Aquarian themes, what Aquari Aquarius is really all about. Aquarius the sign the energy the archetype that dynamic it's all about where we are unique where we are original our authentic passions and talents and how we can cultivate those to their highest potential and then contribute them to the greater good of humanity to fill a void that will never be filled if it wasn't for our own little unique piece of the puzzle all of humanity wins when each and every one of us come into our full potential step into our power develop and cultivate ourselves and then contribute that to the greater good and to the greater whole. So overall today, you guys, to mark our halfway point through the year today at this equinox, we are discovering deep truths that are transforming our lives and our world. This process is causing us to break out of situations that have been mentally or emotionally constraining us. And the result may be shocking changes and upheavals in our current levels of comfort and resources at this time as things are realigned in a more authentic way to support our personal and collective development going forward into the future, into the age of Aquarius. This is full exposure. We're in the full moon phase of the year now. We're in the full moon phase of the month. We have a Mercury square to Pluto in a trine with Jupiter. We have Venus opposite your opposite Uranus. We have Mars still in a trine to the North Node, really empowering us to move forward in a brand new direction. And we have a moon with the Aries point in Aries while Mars is in Venus's sign. Mars and Venus are in mutual reception. So a collective evolution and re-empowerment re of humanity is underway. And at our halfway point today, it is a dynamic day. And it's just really all about this full exposure that is helping us make these changes so that the next half of this cycle of this year can bring us to this full integrated wholeness and empowerment where we need to be to kick off our next astrological new year in 2022. So again today, you guys, with the moon in Aries at the Aries point ruled by Mars, who is in a conjunction with the sun, we want to watch anger, rage, fights, conflict, very, very high energy levels though, you guys, we need to use it productively on the things that we're passionate about, the things that we're really motivated to complete and accomplish right now. And we don't want to use it destructively in partnerships and relationships. Although with Venus opposite Uranus, that type of thing is prime today anyways, but we really, really do want to try to keep a handle on the emotions, the fiery emotions that may just be flying everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised also if we see some type of like wars or battles break out this week while we have these aspects in effect as well. So wanted to mention that. Now, before I let you go, the last couple minutes, I want to talk about the tarot cards of the day. I pick a tarot card every morning to ask God to clarify where the collective is at right now. 
And today where the collective is at, at our midway point through this astrological new year, when I picked a card today, I got the page of swords upright. So that means that is really along the same lines of this rebirth process that we're going through right now. We have a very like fresh and inspired and almost like youthful energy level to embrace these new ideas that are coming to us, these new understandings. To me, this is correlating sort of with the Mercury square to Pluto and Mercury in trying to Jupiter. We are receptive to new information that is coming in, but it's like we're not looking at it at this point in time from like a very serious perspective, but we are opening open to gaining this new experience of learning that is going on. And when I look at the back of the deck, we have the fool, but it was reversed. So we're ready to embrace these fresh ideas from a place of wisdom gained. It's like, we are not really being super naive about the path ahead and we are not just sort of like go lucky and carefree about what we're facing at this point in time. Our experience is really what's motivating us to actually break through and embrace these new learnings, these new truths, these new ideas that are coming to us. And I feel like, again, this is a good thing and this is supportive considering the place that we're at right now, the process that we're at. And the cards are saying that we do have a willingness to learn. We are not resisting it. And we are coming from a place of experience, not a place of naivety. So I think that that is telling and a good thing as well. The last thing that I want to do today, I had one of my very beautiful subscribers send me a set of Oracle synchronicity cards that she actually wrote, made herself. And I want to pull one of these just because it is the halfway point of the year to see where we are at. Um, just get a little message from spirit. So I just, just pulled this card. It says great blessings for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. And then it says, Collective message for all. Nothing is more powerful than God. Contact God quietly with faith and confidence and know God is opening a path and solving your problem. With God, nothing is impossible and great blessings will be yours. And this is a very beautiful insight and information for where we are at right now in this process of metamorphosis, learning new truths, opening up to walk down a brand new path that is trying to lead us to an ultimate sense of fulfillment across every aspect of our life. So that is the message for today, you guys. Um, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends if you think they would be interested. Leave me comments, you guys. I absolutely love all of your comments. If you have any questions about astrology, drop them in my comment section, and I'm going to be making a video answering all types of astrology questions sometime soon. If you want to get a hold of me, AubreyStarsAstrology at gmail.com. I also have a Facebook page and a Facebook group if you guys are interested. Thank you so much for watching, and come back with me tomorrow as we progress through the astrological story that is carrying us through to the age of Aquarius at this point in time.